Hi everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you what to expect when you are logging into the Sapphire program as a student. The screen that's displayed right now in this video is exactly what we'll see as soon as you are successfully logged into the program. This opening screen is where your most recent class postings will be listed. Right now it seems very cluttered and there may be a lot of things there, but remember we're just getting started with our at home uh, school process and it will get better as the, the days go on and, and you'll become more familiar with the program. But for now, let's show you a couple of things that will make, that might make this process a little easier. Okay. The things that you see here are, are either drop boxes, files, uh, maybe website links and so on. Okay. Uh, you'll see things in here that are from your classroom teacher, this, or, or even a reading specialist. Here's one from Mrs. Monahan. Uh, she is a reading specialist at Balker. And you'll also see ones from your specialists, like Mr. Good, your music teacher, or Mrs. Killian, your library teacher. They'll all have their things here for you to work on. Alrighty. Now, the things that you'll see are things like a file. And that's what this is from Ms. Steck. She has a file here for we, her week one lesson, and it's shown by a little paper clip. Okay. You can just click on that and open up that file. But I'm going to take a, have you take a look first at a Dropbox. Alrighty, and Mrs. Maynard has a Dropbox right here set up for all of her science assignments. So whenever you have something that you've done and completed in science for her science class, you would go to this Dropbox. Alrighty, it's shown by a little piece of paper with a pen on it. Let's take a look of what it looks like inside. This is what it'll appear like when you're coming here. Now, right now you only have one assignment in your science class, but this may fill up now. If it does, don't worry about it. Uh, Mrs. Maynard can eventually maybe hide these assignments so it's a little less confusing, but you'll always wanna look for the due dates that are over here on the side margin, alrighty? Right now, I can tell right away that this student hasn't submitted this lesson yet, but it's not due for another day or so, so you've got lots of time to get this done. Now, in order to submit it, this is what you would do. See where it says Rube Goldberg machine? That's the name of the assignment this, that Mrs. Maynard has placed in here. You'll click on that box and this comes up. Now it might have an attachment like she has here. She has a movie for you to watch. So you'll watch that movie and then when you've done whatever it is that you're supposed to do, you'll come here. Now she, she does say upload your videos here. Click on the assignment, just like she said, and attach your video. And the way to do that is right here where it says add submission. You would just click on the paper clip and you'll click on add files. Now I'm not going to bother doing this now because I'm actually on a laptop. So yours might look a little bit different than on your, your iPad, but just know this, that you'll go to add files and then you'll go to your photo area and find the file that the name of the file that you've just created or the name of the movie that you've just created and attach it. Alrighty. Sometimes your teacher or your specialist's teacher, your art teacher, your music teacher or whatever, may want you to just type in a response for your submission, your lesson submission. Like maybe they just want you to say that you've completed it or that you, what you liked about that particular assignment. You would click in here, type in your response. You can even make it look pretty if you want to. You can add, uh, make your font size bigger and maybe add some color to it, all sorts of things that you can do over here. Alrighty? And then you would click submit and that's it. Alrighty? That's what it's going to look like. And when you did click submit, you'd actually even see a number one right here. So that tells you that you've submitted it. And your teacher also gets an alert. So they know right away that you've handed in something. Okay. Anyway, that's a little bit about your Dropbox. Alrighty. Hopefully that clears up some information for you there. Now I'm going to go back to the first window. And again, this is where you were when you first got in. Now, some of you might think, oh my goodness, that's so much. You can also navigate over here on the left side to courses and grades. That makes it so you could look in specific grades or I'm sorry, in, in specific classes at a time. So if you click on that, it lists all the different classes that you have. There's your art. If you wanted to go just to art, you can go there. Or if you wanted to go to say your gym class, you could go there if you want to and you'd see the exact same things. Here, I'll show you. Clicking on that, 
Oh, look, Mrs. Stack has even made a nice little note there for you. And you'd see the same thing. This information here is the same thing that was back on that initial screen. But if you want to look and see what kind of information that your teacher might have for you, you could click on it there, right there in courses and grades. Alrighty. I hope this makes sense. Uh, I hope it's helpful and, you, and, and enables you to navigate yourself through um, the Sapphire program a little bit easier. Good luck.